Well, the doctor is in all this week. We're getting you back on track with your health. And today we are focusing on diabetes, which disproportionately affects minorities and how lifestyle changes can help you survive. Here's Deanne with everything you need to know. Hey, good morning. So according to the Office of Minority Health, blacks are 60% more likely to die from whites diagnosed with diabetes. And doctors say during the pandemic, many put off their annual checkups. Even some switched up their lifestyle habits. Stats like these, a really big problem, especially for people who have a family history of diabetes. So definitely is a strong um, predisposition if you have a first degree relative or a strong family history of even second or third degree relatives that are diagnosed with diabetes. Um, it definitely sets you up for um, probable diabetes in the future. However, I'm a really big proponent of lifestyle changes and modifications. Here are the warning signs of diabetes. Take a look at your screens. Frequent urination, fatigue, blurred vision, increased hunger, thirst, and sweating. And even though genetics can still play a role, here are some preventative measures. You can exercise, maintain a healthy weight and diet, and no smoking. However, not everyone has access to these preventative measures. Doctors say that contributes to the disparities. Access to food, access to healthier foods, Education in terms of in our communities um, relating to our patients is very important. So I'm a huge proponent is if we see doctors that look like us, we are a lot more likely to relate to them. We also might know certain foods that we're accustomed to in our culture that may or may not contribute to us having diabetes in the way that we prepare some of our foods. I know that there is a big historical aspect into the way that Minority patients often see medicine as a whole. And Dr. Clayton says in order to combat those fears some may have, build a relationship with your doctor. But you got to get to the doctor first in order for that to happen. Chris. All right. Thank you, Deanna. And tomorrow